How's it going everyone? Uh, making a tutorial to show you how to edit the palettes. Let's change the colors in each one of the palettes. So, First things first, you are going to need a program called Tiled GGD. Uh, I'll go ahead and link to it in the description so people can find it. Um, well, once you have tiled GGD, you're going to need to go ahead and grab the sprite files from the game, which are the .csr files, which for whatever image you're changing, uh, and then you need the .col, which is the actual palette. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and load those into tile ggd. I already have it open right here. Uh, so you want to hit open graphics. And I'm going to go into sprite files right here. Open. So you open the CSR for the graphics file. It's going to load this weird image. You want to change the panel size to 128 by whatever. So change the 128 by whatever then this it, it loads the sprite size correctly um, if you, you can by the way you can use the arrow keys to change the panel size in case you didn't know so. took me a while to figure that out um, so we need to change the format on it four bytes per pixel is fine um, I was told little Indian makes it better but I don't to, for me, it doesn't make it any better. I think big Indian's what you need. Um, just keep it as linear for mode. Don't mess with anything else, really. You're gonna change the zoom to 400. Per, or actually, I'll, I'll change it to 200 percent. Normally, I have the window open a little bit bigger, so. But yeah, you change it to 200 percent so you can actually see what's going on, and then you're gonna go ahead and open. Uh, the palette uh, over in the palette files the .col so as you can see it doesn't look correct you could do a couple things to change it but first thing you want to do change the format to four by four bytes per color um, the sprites they are ordered from blue, green, red. And I don't know why it's just it's weird in the code, but you want to keep it in uh, you want to keep it in as blue, green, red. You need to go into the alpha settings and change the alpha location from start to end. When you do that, it should fix that. And you change you go to go to offset. And you're gonna to want to do, you want to keep hexadecimal checked, and you're gonna change you're gonna to go to offset by twenty, and then it loads in the palette. It's really dark on the screen. I don't know why the values are so dark, but they are. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. But yeah, that 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 is Soma's default sprite. You go to offset, I believe it's 40. No, not 40. Was it 30? I don't remember. Anyways. So, right here, each one of the palettes in, uh, in tile GGD. 16 colors. So, the first one's the transparency color, and then you got... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 colors for each palette. Each one corresponds to a different color that's in the palette. Um, and if you open up the .col file in a hex editor, you can actually change the colors that are in the palette. So I already have the edit one open in my hex editor. But... When you're in the hex editor, 
you can ignore these first two lines right here. You you want to focus on offset 20. So right here, this first one. Remember we're uh, over here in tiled GGD. The color order was blue, green, red. So the values that are in this first color are these values right here. It's blue. It's uh, 11 in hex. Green is A in hex, and red is 8 in hex. And then this last number is your alpha value. Because you remember, we changed the alpha location to the end of it. So. <clears throat> so each one of these four byte blocks is going to be a different color. So this four byte block right here is this first color. This four byte block right here is the second color. This one is this third color. This one is the fourth color. So that would mean that four lines of code right here is going to be the first entire palette. So by process of elimination, if you go to offset 60, it should be his second palette, which is the black palette. And then AO. Or A0, sorry. It's the like, pinkish palette. Uh, one, two, three, four. EO is the next one. B0, sorry. That's the green one. So on and so forth. I'm going to go back to offset 20, though. And what we are going to do here is... Hmm... Try to find a good color to change. I want to say that third value is one of his coat colors, like one of the lighter coat colors. So let's try doing the third value right here. So one, two, three. Okay, so right here. Um, so what I usually do is I'll go into a. Here. Go into a. Text color thing on Google. Uh, let's make him purple. And it's going to give you this hex key right here. This hex key is an RGB, so you need to just put it in reverse order. So it would be EB thirty four EB. But it's the thing is, it's going to multiply the values by eight after you put it in, so it's going to be really, really bright compared to what you put on there. So, let's see, EB, 34 EB. Remember, you're going to read these backwards because this is, hex color key is normally in uh, RGB and we're working with uh, BGR, so. If this right here was EA, it would be EB34 EA instead. <clears throat> but if I save this and we go and open the edited palette, it looks different. We have to set the settings back to normal again. Format 4 bytes, mode, color order, offset 20. Now the color on there is extremely bright pink. Like I told you, it multiplies the value by 8, so you gotta kinda see. Take these values and divide them by 8. So I don't know if I get the calculator out. 235 divided by 8 should be about 29 and then 52 divided by 8 6 so 29 and 8 and the 
Pixel to hex. 29 to hex 1D. Uh, so we make that 1D. 1D. And then, what was the other one? 6, I can't remember. Which is actually just 6. We can, what we can do is reload it as generic data and then go back to the same offset and it should be purple yeah. and it matches the colors so if you want to change the colors for the palette just take the values right here the RGB values and divide them by 8 and then convert them back into hex and those are the colors that you, or that, that's the values that you want to input in there to get the correct colors, because they're going to be extremely bright in HD. Um, I guess I can test this out real quick in the game, so I will go ahead and cut to the game being open and I will record that. All right, so we got the game open now. If we go over to, uh, don't worry about Charlotte's hair color. Uh, if we go over to Soma, you can see that his default color has that purple that we applied. So I can show you in the chapter. on his old sprite sheet so if you want ugly purple soma you got it um always make a backup of your files before you start editing the hexes on there because if you edit the files and you don't have a backup then you lose the original files and you have no way of getting back to the original file state so just make sure you always make backups of things. Uh, the files can be located. If you go into, that's not the right folder. If you go into your emulator folder, you go into devhd, hdd0, go to game, go to mpu, us directory, data, it's going to be in the OPD folder, player, and then whichever character you're going for. Soma's is in Soma, obviously. Um, Aru is Alucard. Axe is Axe Armor. Skeleton is Ske S SKL Skeleton. Shinoa is Shinoa. TP Female is... Or, I'm sorry, TPF is Charlotte. TPM is Jonathan. I don't know why they named him like that, but this is how they did. Uh, and then the DLC characters are in the DLC folder. You just go in here, go to data, OPD, player, Julius. There you go. These, All these CSR files in here, those are the ones that you need for his sprite sheets. You don't really need to do much with these if you're editing the palette. The only thing you really need to worry about is the .col. So you just use these to be able to open it in tiled GCD or GGD, and that will allow you to see what your palettes are doing to the sprites. So. Um. I do plan on figuring out how to get the CSR files changed. I have changed around Charlotte a little bit, but there's still a lot more that I don't understand about it. So when I, when I figure that, I'll, I'll, I'll let y'all know more. But until then, have fun messing with palettes. Good night, everybody.